Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be doing an app review and the app is called Push Bullet and this app is great. Basically all it does is it sends push notifications to your phone from your computer and it's great if you need to send yourself a quick file, a note, a link or a list and basically right now if you want to send yourself something you got a few methods to achieve that. You can either email yourself that file or that note or you can use Dropbox to kind of put something in a folder and then you have to open up the app from your phone and then click download and pick the folder. So it's kind of a hassle. So what this app does is it just really simplifies the whole process and gives you a lot more features that really isn't found anywhere else. All you need to create an account here with push bullet is a Google account. So it does work with uh, Google's global messaging system. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and sign in here. So, we're going to click right here, it says sign in. And if you're already logged into one of your Google accounts, well, all you have to do is click on one of the accounts you're logged in, or you can just log in uh, for the first time here. So this is the dashboard of Push Bullet, it's really easy to use. And the first thing you're gonna see here is where it says my devices. Now, these are the devices that I've linked up to my account. You can see my phone and my tablet, and I can push to either one of those devices. But then you also have devices that have been shared with me. So this is my girlfriend's phone, and then I can, once she shared that with me, I can push files directly to her phone, so that's really cool. You can also rename these to whatever you like, and I can share either one of these devices with anybody that I want as well. So let's go ahead and click the phone and push to this. And as you can see here, this is the layout. It's really, really simple. That's what I really like about it. Um, but you see all the different categories here that you can push. Uh, you can have uh, a list, an address, a file, uh, a link. Uh, what I use a lot is the file option. Uh, but let's go ahead and send us a quick uh, list here. Do so that list has just been sent and you'll get a little confirmation right there. And now let's go ahead and send us a little file. So we'll click here and we'll pick the file. Uh, it does have to be less than 10 megabytes though, but I think that's a pretty fair limit. So it went ahead and sent that. So we get a little confirmation there as well. And you can also send yourself a link and this is really useful. Now, if you have a Chrome browser, now this will work on any browser, but if you have Chrome, you can install a Chrome extension. So let's say you're looking at a website that you like and you wanna send that website so that you can view it later on your phone. Well, all you do is click on this little Chrome extension and it'll populate the link for you and you can edit this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove some of this and make it simple just hit push and that's it that link is sent to my phone and i use this a lot for like when i order something online and i have a confirmation page to check my the status of my order i'll just push that link to my phone and i can check up on that order while i'm on the go or any other day so that's that and that's pretty much it it's a, just a extremely useful app and i use it a lot when i just need to send something to my phone from my computer. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the phone and see how that works. So here's my device. And as you can see at the top notification bar, those are all the three pushes that I sent myself right now. So you can see there the grocery list, the file and that uh, link. So let's go ahead and open up the grocery list. You can expand it like that or you can tap on it and then it'll open it in the app. And you can even check these things off if, as you complete these tasks. And we can go back and then we can also remove that from our notification tray. Now let's go ahead and click on the file. As you can see, it's already downloaded it for us and it just put it directly into our downloads folder. There's nothing else that we need to do. It's just really, really convenient. And let's take a look at that last notification there, which was the link. So when I tap on that, it'll just open up the link right away. And there's no typing involved. It just opens up magically well not magically but you get the idea so now let's go ahead and send us a notification from my computer so i'm going to send myself a file here and as you can see right there the file just downloaded i just pushed it to my device i get the notification and there's nothing i need to do the file is automatically downloaded um, so that's how this app is really convenient and there's that file that i just sent myself all right, and now let's take a look at the app itself. So if you click on it from the app drawer, here are all the pushes that I've sent myself. 
and uh, as you can see you can also uh, let me just get rid of that you can also tap on these like that and you can open them again at any time uh, if you need to look at a folder or open up a, a link again you can also long press them and click on this little icon here and it'll put it back in your notification tray if you need to remind yourself about that list that was so important and you can also of course go ahead and delete them by selecting multiple ones so that's it guys a really simple app that's push bullet so if you like this video make sure to subscribe and also i'll put a link in the description to the actual app itself thanks for watching